Quality Bonsoir. Oh my gosh. I'm making une mermite de bois, which is a fish stew from Normandy, France. A lot of cream, a lot of butter, but it's delicious. And it has fish, shrimp, sea scallops, mussels, parsley, oh my gosh, fennel, leeks, so much flavor, so much goodness. And it has white wine. And my version of doing this, I added a little beer. And it's delicious. So here we have it. And I am about to serve it. But this is goodness, deliciousness. So please watch the video, subscribe, like it, and you know what? I love comments. Tell me how it was if you made it. I love that. Bonsoir et bon appétit. Bonsoir et bon appétit. Oh my gosh. Oh, marmite de poise. What is that? Oh. Well, that is a Normandy dish from the north of France. Um, it is delicious. It's, um, so, you know, I think anywhere along the coasts of France, you, you'll find great fish stews from Marseille to, oh my gosh, really anywhere. You know, Marseille, Bouillabaisse, and um, there's just so many different fish, fish stews that you can have, but this one is made with cream, um, traditionally apple cider um, and white wine or just straight apple cider but we're gonna do a little twist to this because it's steep right but um, you can use any fish you want for this um, but tonight we're gonna use um, cod salmon and I like the salmon because it gives it color in, in the stew we're gonna use some shrimp um, we're going to use some uh, uh, sea scallops, uh, mussels, mushrooms, celery, fennel, leeks, parsley, shallots, butter, a lot of butter, four ounces, five ounces, uh, somewhere in there. And we're using. Uh, Cup and a uh, cup and a half of dry white wine, and instead of cider, this is a a beer that I find that makes this dish amazingly good. It's called Fin du Monde. It's a triple Belgium L uh, from Canada, though not from Belgium, but delicious and goes really well with this sauce. You're going to need some heavy cream, some sea salt, you're going to keep, uh, I think that's it, uh, you're going to need two pots, a heavy pot, or if you don't have one of these just get a pretty good sized pot, and then another uh, heavy pot, uh, sauce pot for the mussels. So, um, I got everything ready. By the way, I made some videos on how to scrub the mussels and prepare them. Separate video. Um, and also how to prepare the fennel. Separate video. And leads a separate video just to help you guys out. If you already know how to do this, then I'm not taking like another 20 minutes to do this. Um, prep time. The uh, shrimps, you want to devein them and de shell them, but keep the tails. And the fish, you're just going to slice them lengthwise and just put nice thick pieces in there. Um, uh, mushrooms, you're going to slice them as well. Oh, I forgot the garlic. Um, I did two, they were like two pretty good sized cloves, so that's enough. If they're small, use three. And the bay leaves and about, no, uh, that's at the bottom. All right, let's get cooking. Okay, so I am going to take my one and a half cups of dry white wine and the beer, half a cup of beer. 
drop it in there. I have my muscles that I have cleaned and checked to make sure they're all nice and alive. And maybe I should move this. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let me move the camera so that you guys can see the rest. Okay, so we got to a simmer. I'm going to add my muscles in here. And I'm going to cover them. I'm going to cook these for about two, three minutes until they all are open. You might need to stir them. But don't, don't do it now, just wait. So we're going to go ahead and put the burner on this side. And then put it on a medium heat. And we're going to take our butter. We're going to melt that. And then we're going to add a lot of things. So I'm going to organize all that. This will take about four or five minutes. So I like to just start a timer. And I just start a timer so I can keep an eye on like how things are going. I'm bringing my funnel, my leeks, my celery, my garlic, and get a wooden wooden guy. Push that in there. And the first thing I'm going to do is add my my garlic. Beautiful. Don't waste that garlic. Anyway, I like a lot of garlic. So if you prefer, you could put less. Um, you know, that's the wonderful thing about cooking, right? You're cooking, do it to your taste, do it to change things up. Traditionally, this dish would not have um, fennel bulbs in it or anise. But because I like to add always a little bit of Provençal from the south of France or a southern France touch, um, I'm adding the, uh, the funnel. So we're going to bring this to the simmer. I'm going to check my muscles. Probably be handy to have a hot mitt handy. There we go. And that's not ready yet. The heat's probably too low. Okay, I'm going to bring that heat up a little bit. Lowered it. No big deal. It's going to take a few more minutes. Alright, my butter is starting to melt. And I am going to add my shallots, which I cut really thin. I'm going to add these guys. And then. I'm going to give that about a minute or so. Oh. Now we're going to add... Oh, it hasn't been enough. I'm being too much of a hurry. Now let me check my muscles. So once the muscles are, are cut, I'm going to drain them. Now I'm going to reserve the drain, and you'll see why. Okay, now my shallots have been cooking for a couple minutes. They're nice and coated in that wonderful butter. Now Normandy is known for everything in cream and butter, lots of butter. Which is a good thing. It's really nice. Alright, we're going to drop our anise in there. We're going to drop our leeks. And then we're going to cook this for a while. And I'm going to mix it in there. And I'm going to soften all this. Oh, like, I don't know. I would say 
a good five to eight minutes, something like that. Okay. Like that there on medium heat. Probably medium heat would probably be about five minutes, but sometimes it takes longer because I put a lot of vegetables in there. And of course, we keep checking our muscles. There we go. We're starting to get that beautiful bubbly. And what I'm going to do is just turn them. Just turn them open. And I'm going to cover them back up. Alright, I'm looking at my timer. We're four minutes in. I'm going to give the muscles another couple minutes. I'm just, uh, I don't know. Like I said, about a good... You know, five to eight minutes, and you're gonna you want to keep this, keep this stirring occasionally, not constantly, just occasionally. Just flip it around. All right. Okay. Look at that steam coming out of those muscles. And they're all open. I'm gonna turn off that heat. I just got a strainer in a bowl. I find that the easiest way. And we're just gonna drop that all in there. Put that aside. And do a shake. Mushrooms. 
about three minutes. So now I'm going to take the juice from the mussels and I'm going to pour and strain it. And drop that in there. And it'll capture any like sand or anything that came out of the mussels. It's, you know, you don't want that. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to give this a good little stir. And I'm going to drop my bay leaves in here. And just tap them in there. We'll remove those later. In the meantime, I've been chopping up my fish. And I'm just doing bite size. And that's how you got to do it. Doesn't take long. Well, that's going to simmer for about two, three, you know, five minutes. I'm going to get all my seafood ready. Well, everything's ready except the fish. So I just cut those guys bite sizes. And like I told you earlier, you can use really a lot of, a lot of any fish you really want, um, sea fish. Um, you can use tilapi, you can use sole, you can use flounder, you could use cod, you could use, you know, um, I'm using cod and salmon because I like the color, but I've done it with cod and sole. I've done it with three different types of fish. Um, you know, try different things. Um, good thing to do is look what's on sale and pick that. And you can't go wrong. Any firm fish is fine. Salmon's greasy, um, oily I should say, not greasy. But that still works fine. Um, so you can't go wrong. We're gonna add all this at the very end. Now, if you expect a guest or your significant other and your family is not home yet, um, this would be a good point to stop until they get home. Because what we're gonna do is bring this to a simmer and we're gonna add first the, the fish, we'll cook that for like three minutes, and then we're gonna add the shrimp and cook that for like two minutes, and then we're gonna add the uh, sea scallops at the very end and the mussels and add that heavy cream and all that. So this is a good point to stop um, until you're, you're ready to continue. So we'll be back until I'm ready to continue. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and uh, it'll be ready when it's about <sighs> The best thing to do is wait that everybody arrives and then do it. Because you don't want to overcook this, it's very important. Once you commit to putting that fish in, you need to serve it after it's cooked. We'll be back. Okay, so that's looking perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my fish, all of it. I'm gonna leave it in there for about two or three minutes. Then we will add the shrimp. Now I'm gonna gently I'm keeping an eye where my bay leaves are. I bring them to the side, just a trick. And I'm just gonna gently submerge the fish. All right. And we're just going to let that cook for about three minutes. And this is important you keep an eye on the time. And this is a gentle simmer. And we're going to give that a minute. Bay leaves are still in there. I just brought them to the side now I'm putting them back on top. But I know where they are. 
a little Steve trick. All right, I'm going to cover that. And gentle simmer for two, three minutes so that fish, when I put the fish in, it cooled, cooled it down. So I'm going to wait a minute for it to come back up. And then I'll wait two, three minutes. And after the three minutes, we'll add the shrimp. After a minute or so, we'll add the scallops. And then we will pour the heavy cream. And then we will add the mussels, parsley, and we're ready to serve. So five minutes, this will be done. We'll be right back. Okay. It's been about three minutes, four minutes. My fish is turning like an opaque color. I'll show you. So if I, that's the salmon. And it turns like a light pink color. The cod will turn like a whitish kind of color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my prawns or shrimp. sure they're submerged because these aren't cooked. I know they're pink but that's the type of shrimp I'm using. They have a pinkish color, reddish color, but they're not cooked. So they will need to be in there and that stew for about two or three minutes. Come right back up. And we'll be back because we gotta wait another three minutes, uh, two minutes, maybe three. Those shrimps have turned pink. Now I'm gonna add my scallops. So what I got here is four big sea scallops, and then I got a few bay scallops, and it just uh, adds to the flavor. Um, Big scallops will cook nicely. They cook quickly, about a minute. So I just push those in a little bit. The bay scallops will cook quicker. But we're, putting, we're bringing all this together now. And we're just going to cover it for just a minute. heavy cream and that's gonna stop well almost stop the cooking process and we're gonna add the mussels bring that back to a simmer gently for a couple minutes and then we're gonna season it parsley taste it make sure it tastes right and yeah Let's take a look at that. Turn my scallops if they're sticking out of the liquid. All right, at this point, I'm just gonna take my bay leaves, if I could see them. Take them out. They did their job. I always keep an eye where my bay leaves are. <laughs> All right. There's your toss here. Yeah. Okay. All right. I like how that is. And my heavy cream. And judge it. Gently stir that. I don't like go crazy. Oh my god, I wish you guys could smell this. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna have my mussels. These are all cooked already. And again, gently stir your mussels in. All that seafood flavor. It's just divine. 
right. I'm gonna take some coarse black pepper. Some people use white pepper. I prefer coarse. I don't like a fair amount. <laughs> oh, I only had. Well, I guess it went back on my spoon, the bay leaf. I took it out and then it went back in. So maybe I don't know where they are. Alright, let's put some salt. This is sea salt. And I would put three good pinches in there. Stir gently. And then get yourself a tasting spoon. I like these because it's easier. Oh my god, that is good. This is so good, people. All right, uh, gentle simmer, it's coming back, the crank cooled it down, let me taste that one more time, mm. yeah, I'm happy with that, all right, let's drop the parsley, Spin that. Beautiful. Okay. Alright, folks. We are going to just cover it for a minute. I just want to bring this back to simmer. You don't even have to cover it. Just make sure everything is in the liquid. And I keep putting back my bay leaves. Did you see that? <laughs> it's sticking to my wooden spoon. So, lesson learned. Remove your bay leaves from where you set your, 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 uh, your <laughs> tools to uh, first up. Okay, so we're going to give this a minute and uh, I'm going to serve it. Alright, we are ready to serve this. And let me tell you, the smells of the Melmite de Pois is amazing. So I'm just going to grab a nice spoonful and drop it. And it's literally a French stew. And I'm going to make sure that we have some scallops in there. That we have some shrimp in there. Uh, some people like more scallops than shrimp, which is fine. Uh, I don't know. There's another nice Ooh, scallop, a little fish maybe there. Oh, that's enough. They can come back for seconds. And I didn't get any shrimp in this one, so I'll make sure they get the shrimp. Now, garnish. I'm using the fond from the, uh, the uh, anise bulbs, uh, fennel bulbs. Sorry, I'm, I'm used to calling them the way they call them in France. Anise. And I just drop a little green edge there. Oops, I don't need a stem. And there we go. If I'm serving a lot of people, I would use a big bowl and then serve it from that. But um, if you don't use it all, um, just keep it in the pot, let it cool, put it in the fridge, and cover it, and just heat it up slowly. You would have to eat it by, by the next day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. One more thing. Serve it with a baguette. If you want, you can slice it and just roast it. Put a little olive oil on that. Um, and that's nice. All right. Bonsoir et bon appétit. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. Um, please check out my channel. Um, you know, my experiences in, uh, living in France and the Caribbean and the States. And just everything is combined and just so much exciting stuff that I love to make. So I hope you enjoyed.
Bonne soirée. Folks, you want to jazz this up? So this is what I do if there's leftovers. I take a good pinch of saffron and I drop it in there. And then I stir it in. Keep in mind, this is still warm, not hot, warm. But I just stir that in. And it just gives it a little, a little kick. So this is a big deviation <laughs> from the Normandy. They wouldn't do this, but I do. So make sure all those saffrons are off here and then just cover it, let it cool. And then tomorrow, just heat it up and serve and it'll be a totally different flavor.